Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're having a look at your February 2023 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, thank you. I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get right into it and see what energies are coming out here for you guys in the month ahead. Well, this is perfect. So we have the Angel of Balance coming in and we have the door to personal healing and happiness. So this is beautiful energy. Okay, it feels as though you're getting things together. You're getting things in alignment here. You're finding a healthier balance um, in your world, maybe balancing your finances out, um, figuring out how you put a little bit of money away, or you're opening the doors to make some positive change in the right direction. The Angel of Balance swoops in for you for the month ahead to help you restore balance and harmony in your world and to find things that are a little bit more in alignment with your goals and your dreams and where you want to get to and who you are. Some of you might be finding a healthier balance between your work life and your home life, especially if things have been a little bit rough, maybe you've thrown in some overtime and now you're taking a little bit of a step back and putting in some healthy personal boundaries. You're balancing your household finances here, um, maybe figuring out doing a deep dive into your bank statements and figuring out where am I wasting money? Where's all my money going? Okay, so you might be figuring that out as well, especially if you've got like a daily Starbucks habit or something like that. That can get pretty expensive pretty fast. Okay, so you're figuring things out. You may even be um, finding a balance in... Uh, um, in your workplace, okay, or even your home life there um, in regards to your finances or responsibilities, um, especially if things have been a little bit challenging for you. Uh, you may have found yourself in a situation where you've been holding a lot of the responsibility and perhaps now is the time to give something back. It's like, no, 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 no. You need to do your fair share. So whether it's your, your home or your work environment, and that can affect, um, you know, how, um, how you feel about your environment, about your situation. But I do feel here that there is um, some abundance blossoming in your life. There's, if you're looking to make a change, there is those opportunities, those doors opening for you. Um, if you are looking to try and make some more money, okay, again, there's some shifting energy here that is, um, you know, very supportive of you making that positive change or improving where you are right now. All right. But I do feel here that there are some goals or something that you've want, uh, something that you've got in mind. And we do have this door um, to personal healing and happiness opening for you, bringing you unlimited potential, finding peace, resolving situations, um, maybe starting something new, heading down a new path, okay, or fixing what you've already got. OK, um, if you've had some investments that have taken a little bit of a nosedive, this could be where they uh, finally pick up speed again, uh, where maybe you, um, you know, you might even find uh, some job opportunities for yourself or even an investment opportunity here, too. OK, so we do have some wonderful energy coming in here for you. Very positive vibes um, for you as well. Some of you may actually get a surprise or some good news in the month ahead here as well and this really does elevate you into a better circumstance and a better situation but follow your goals and your dreams whatever they happen to be okay um, focus on the positive focus on what you want to fix heal repair or change in your life and believe that if you want something then you can make it happen here in this energy we've got the four of pentacles Three of Pentacles. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. How about that? Um, isn't that nice for you? All right. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is bringing in a, an energy of stability and security, a good foundation, trusting that you've gotten to a certain point, okay, but that you're hungry for more. Okay, you're wanting something just a little bit more. The Four of Pentacles is where we have our needs met. And we've achieved a certain level of abundance or success, but we just know that there's a little bit more to be had. This is where your 
needs are being met, but maybe there's still some things that you want, things that you desire. Okay, and you're trying to figure out how can I make that happen for myself, right? I'm kind of okay in the four of pentacles energy, but how do I get to the 10, right? How do I get to that 10 of pentacles, that, you know, that sense of I have everything that I could ever possibly want, okay? So you're trying to figure some things out here in this energy. But the four of pentacles is where we do pay attention to our money, okay, or our situation. The fours represent your career, your home, and your money situation. And in this four of pentacles, right, she's got her hand across her purse there. So this can be, um, again, finding that balance, recognizing the difference between wants and needs. Maybe you want to stop at Starbucks every morning on your way to work, but that $10, $15 every single day adds up and it burns a hole in your bank account. Okay, so maybe you are taking that step back and figuring those things out. How do I keep more of my money? Okay, so you're certainly focused in that area. You may also be um, in a situation here where maybe you're contemplating, uh, do I need to dip into my savings or how can I save a little bit more. So whether you need to spend some money and you're being a little bit discerning uh, or whether you are trying to put some more money away, the four of pentacles where we really are paying attention to the things that we own, okay, the things we want, the things we have, and try to ha make more of it, right? The three of pentacles here though, teamwork and collaboration may certainly be the key to your success. Okay, so working with other people, um, this the three of pentacles here is where you partner up with people to create something, okay, something that everyone's on board with. Okay, so this could certainly be where you are looking how to create more money and abundance and luck and prosperity in your life, okay, and people may be the key to that. The three of pentacles is where everyone is working together instead of, you know, going in their own way. Um, so you might be taking the lead, taking charge in a project. Um, you might be seeking out some advice. You might be learning, open to learning about things as well. Um, but you might also be part of a project, part of a team um, here that you can really uh, create something wonderful um, and you may even get rewarded for all of your efforts and hard work okay this can be that healing energy here that we've got especially in a workplace the three of pentacles instead of everyone doing their own thing and you've got one person that holds all the responsibility one person that just kind of shows up every day and one person that's just like whoo -hoo, they uh, fly you know fly the coop kind of thing right but yet they want the rewards for everything um so this is everything coming together in a very positive way for you all right um but there may be opportunities for new partnerships and things in your world here as well new opportunities. Um, you might seek out some sort of advice or you might be looking for some business partners here. Okay. But I think that there's some shifts in your energy. There's some changes that are on the horizon for you and things that are actually really quite positive because we do have the wheel of fortune coming in. So this is a cycle of expansion, growth, and opportunity for you. This is um, lady luck. Good fortune is shining upon you. Okay, and this is where things are headed in the right direction. Um, however, whenever we do have a change in a cycle for you, right, we've got these doors opening, expansion, growth, um, sometimes to embrace the change and to gather and, um, you know, really ride this forward wave of momentum, um, excuse me, momentum here, uh, sometimes it requires a little bit of change, Okay, shaking things up a little bit. So sometimes as we shift into the Wheel of Fortune energy, things can be a feel a little bit bumpy, okay, because we have some decisions to make or we do need to, you know, shake things up a little bit to get ourselves to where we want to be. All right, but the Wheel of Fortune, you might just get a lucky break in the month ahead. You might have surprises in your month ahead. And again, we do have expansion growth and these doors opening for you. So whether you're getting something back on track or whether you're open to um, some big changes and something new, you've got a little bit of luck on your side. You've got a little bit of karma on your side there as well. And all of this good fortune shines upon you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. We've got the Hermit coming out there. And we have the Nine of Swords. So fear not my friends, okay, um, because if there's things that you've been worrying about, things that you've been fretting over, okay, it is time to um, 
and get out of that energy into something a little bit more positive. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit are your two major arcanas coming out for your month ahead. The Hermit does bring in healing. It brings in the sense of reflection, reflecting upon your current situation. You go within, right? You're doing that little bit of deep thinking, that soul searching. And when we do that, when we take that step back and we enter this calm energy, this is where we quite often get answers. This is where we set goals and intentions. We figure out how we can fix a situation, how we can bring peace to a situation and restore the equilibrium there and what changes that we need to make to do that. And this is where we're really trusting our intuition we're trusting our inner instincts and we're shining a light on the things that we need to focus on in that energy but we do have the queen of pentacles coming in with the four of pentacles so again how can i nurture my goals my dreams how can i make some more money um, how can I um, feel abundant and successful in my world? So the Queen of Pentacles is showing you here that you might currently be at the four, but you do have opportunities to enter that queen. You need to be open, you need to be receptive, and you need to be patient in this energy. Um, growing our money, our finances does take time because it's all about our material world. And so you might have some ideas on how to bring more prosperity into your life, okay? Or you may actually, be getting some rewards for something that you have spent a lot of time on that you've been very committed to in your journey and now here we are um, embracing this energy of success but it's like this energy here I mean if you look at both of these it's almost like it's the same person all right but it's one of I've got my eyes closed and I'm very calm and I'm very centered in my energy and I'm just trusting the process. I'm trusting myself. I'm trusting that I'm making the right moves, the right decisions. So trust yourself on your journey. The Queen of Pentacles may be someone that you can partner up with. They may have an opportunity for you, but this can also be you making the right choices, the right decisions for yourself to make yourself feel a little bit more um stable and successful in your world so some of you this requires change some of you you just have this deep sense of knowing okay that I know what I want I know where I'm where I need to be I know what changes that I need to make I know how to find some more balance in my world I know how to fix my situation and I'm just going to do things one step at a time one day at a time so there is abundance and prosperity really flowing around you there's doors of opportunity opening for you and sometimes we need to trust ourselves to make the right decision but of course this hermit energy here is is really all about that energy within and following your goals and dreams okay because where we go into hermit mode we figure out what lights our candle what lights our flame that illuminates the path forward okay so where is that illumination in you where is your spark okay what flame to light your lantern that shows you the path ahead okay trust yourself that you can make your right decisions for you and that you can resolve situations okay or that you are up for a bit of a change and a bit of a challenge okay but we do need to let go of some worry and this is where the hermit can really help you get out of this nine of swords energy when we're in the nine of swords this is overthinking feeling overwhelmed feeling anxious and worried about the future um you know getting a little bit wrapped up in our head so you're really being encouraged here to get out of your head all right and into your heart and take some practical positive steps um, to get to to make positive change and significant change in your life and be open and receptive to opportunities that are around you in abundance okay and the nine of swords is that very much uh, restrictive energy but it's the restrictions that we impose upon ourselves because we're afraid of making change you could literally be afraid of making change even if it's magical and even if it's wonderful you're like oh man I gotta shake my shake up my foundations here okay and some you know it's human nature not to like change because we like comfort zones. We like to know what is going to happen in our day. We don't love the unexpected. Some people do thrive on change, but most humans are creatures of habit. So sometimes just being faced with the opportunity of change, even if it's exciting, even if it's wonderful and magical and everything that we wanted, we sometimes doubt the process, okay, or we sometimes get a little bit wrapped up in our head. So instead of that nine of swords energy, if you do find yourself of going down that rabbit hole the hermit take that step back center 
ground your energy, okay, calm your conscious mind. This is where our conscious mind gets the better of us with the Nine of Swords, okay, and trust your way forward, right? We need to trust ourselves to um, speak our truth, speak our mind, to follow our path forward, okay? And sometimes when we don't trust ourselves, we get stuck. So let's get your advice from Spirit here because I think there is some success and some magic happening for you guys, a very positive shift forward. And that's happening for a lot of people right about now. Um, you know, up till uh, March is especially interesting in uh, the energy that's uh, headed our way. So you're certainly getting into alignment here. Your advice from Spirit. Oh, look at that. This is beautiful. We've got two energies here. Let me just get your last card here so I can put this deck down. And blessings, 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 please. Thank you. Okay. So your advice from Spirit. The Star and the Three of Wands. Believe that you can and you will. Simple. Um, the star brings about peace, serenity, brings about an energy of inspiration, believing that anything is possible, that the world is your oyster, that you are very connected with the energy around you and you are attracting abundant success opportunities into your life. You're feeling more inspired. You're feeling hopeful for the future. Okay. And believe in your personal magic with that star. All right. Look to the future. Find better balance and healing into your world and be ready to put a plan together and take those steps forward that you need to take. The three of wands shows you the path forward is clear and there's opportunities, there's expansion, there's growth, there's um, things that are headed towards you. So get ready because that star brings about some beautiful magical energy towards you. Um, and this is that Aquarian energy and in February we're still in Aquarius season and a lot of people are experiencing just a little bit of their own inner magic here. So believe, make, make big wishes, big goals, big dreams, whatever those look like for you. But remember to be ready to take action. The three of wands, something opening up here for you to create what it is that you really are dreaming about that you want to create but stay positive and stay optimistic whenever we get the star card this is a big yes card miracles and blessings happen when the star card comes out sometimes right away uh, especially with the wheel of fortune um, sometimes right away that magic things are manifesting in our world but sometimes it's a reminder there that it takes time to manifest things into our physical world okay for the energy to really conglomerate there and turn into something that we can touch and we can feel and sometimes we do need to be a little bit patient remain hopeful and remain open in your energy and remember so what is success it's Preparation aligned with opportunity and the willingness to take action. And that is our key to success to move forward. So Spirit's really, really trying to give you um, some very positive, uplifting vibes and the blessings headed your way. We've got the lover's card. So this is you connecting with your higher self, restoring balance and harmony in your world. The lover's card is all about partnering up with the right people, the right energy, the right situations. And what did we have here? The three of pentacles. So if you're looking for something new, those doors are opening up for you to part and make those really positive partnerships in your life. The lover's card, um, a blessing for you is also your ability to make the right choice for you. You might have some important decisions to make in the month ahead. Okay. And trust in your ability to choose the right path forward for you. All right. Um, and you might have more than one opportunity opening up. You might have, um, you know, uh, people in your life that you can partner up with or maybe that give you some advice. And this can be uh, a key to your success. Okay, this could be a support system for you with the lover's card. Maybe you have the very um, important support of a friend or your spouse, significant other, perhaps. Um, there might be uh, some influence here with your personal life that affects how you make your money, okay, or how secure you feel in making changes in your career path or, um, you know, or in getting your money all in order, right? Sometimes the lover's card, our personal life, and we've got your door to personal happiness opening up here. Um, and sometimes our personal life really does play a key role in how we make our money, the decisions we make for our career path, and of course, our bank account, right?
um, for the good or for sometimes the challenging. So there's where that balance is all restored there with that energy. So some exciting things all coming into alignment for you guys. And uh, remember, be ready to do something about it, to take advantage of the opportunities or the situation that you can um, fix or heal or you can change. All right, because we've got some beautiful energy there, some good karma moving you forward, and, um, you know, maybe a little bit of luck or surprise headed your way. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.